do a real quick video, guys. First of all, good morning. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, and I do not have to go to work early. Today is my late day. Anyway, welcome to New York. This is the sign, right? Um, Tuesday, Friday, 11.30 to 1 p.m. Okay, so normally you have to move the car Tuesday and Friday. But now because of Corona, you only have to use the one the, the one underneath the bottom. So you got to move the car at on Friday at 11.30. Oh. Anyway, you see all this construction stuff? They don't play in New York about giving you a, a ticket or towing your car. Anyway, so that's my car on the, on, the, on the corner. Here comes some more construction stuff. I live by Yankee Stadium, so guess what? It took me three hours to find a parking last night. Three whole hours to find a parking last night. When I tell you that, it's hard. It's disgusting. You almost got to fight for parking around here. So now I get up out of my nice, beautiful bed after I don't have to go to work early today. And I don't got to move my car as per the um, construction people. There's no sign, so you got to make sure you get up. Look, look at this. There's garbage all over, and then that's how we treat our neighborhood. <sighs> so this is a part of my series, guys. Showing you behind the scenes stuff. Um, so because I get up out of my bed early, and I cannot, I'm the type, once I get up, I can't go back to sleep. I'm just going to walk, get my health together, walk around this park, do a little mile or two, and go upstairs prepare my house, and go uh, to work. And do it all over again tonight. Hopefully, what I have to do is even if I find a park, and the first park I see, I don't care if it's 10 blocks away, because I love to walk anyway. I get the parking because the closer you get to Yankee Stadium, when they have games, you're not going to get a parking. I am so frustrated to the point that I am ready to go take it to um, the the, uh, the council assembly council person over here is Latoya jo uh, Joyner, and I'm ready to take it to her or even higher because we need something on our car. We need a either you open up one of these parking lots for the residents around here with some kind of permit to park. Or give it, to, she's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful African queen. Um, either you open up the parking lots, assist the, the little parking lots that's not making no money, and give them some kind of funds, grants, whatever you want to call it. Help them out as well. If you don't want us to use the big parking lot, because I'm telling you, it's disgusting. It's really disgusting. God bless all these youth going to school, doing what they're doing, because as you can see, guys, every day they come outside, they got to worry about their life. Now I'm switching conversation. Did you guys see what happened on the train yesterday? Somebody decide they have problems, they can't take it, whatever problem this man had. They say he's in the 60, allegedly. Hopefully they got the right person. Because first they said they didn't have camera, and now all of a sudden, magically, they found whoever they're supposed to find. They don't find them yet, but they got pictures all over the place. That's another thing. In this high-tech um, society, I don't feel safe in, in America. I don't feel safe here. First of all, look what happened in Washington. They, they, they stormed the Capitol building, right? And then now... Let's not even mention 911. And now, the subway system. So if you have false sense of security, you're bugging. You gotta cover your family with prayer. I cannot say that enough because if you leave your house, you don't know if you're going back in. Safe or sound, you don't know. Everybody bugging out out here. They got problems, they don't know how to go talk to God, talk to a counselor, walk, exercise, eat right. They don't know how to manage their stress. Sure, I'm stressed sometimes. 
You know what I mean? But you got to know that tomorrow is another day. Now, if he is, if this is correct, and this man is 60-something years old, you live all your life. Now you're supposed to retire, enjoy life. Now you're going to end up in jail? That makes no sense to me. Like, so people, we got to think out here. It's always a solution to your problem. Always a solution to your problem. That's why I keep telling people that the homeless people are so much stronger than we are because the problems that they go through the rejection they go through uh the way people treat them the the environment that they live in the raw natural environment and just the things they go through day to day we could not deal with that but we have our comfortable house we have things and we still we still complain so we got to manage our mental health, guys. A lot of people, especially when they get upset, they like to say, um, this person made me do it, that person made me do it. But no, you push your own button. You are the one that conduct whatever. Nobody then pu pull the trigger for you. You did that, but then guess what? These people don't understand. Let me explain about the devil to you guys or Satan, Lucifer. Whatever you want to call him. Let me explain. He has agents that live inside of people. And he pushes their button. Just like how you make a constructive criticism. I'm sorry. Constructive decision to walk with God. Good and evil. They decide to let Satan use them to do to carry out his assignment. That is so real. It's going to affect his family. They're going to go dig up in their, fa in their history just because you got to watch who you attach yourself to. That is a real thing as well. That is a real thing. You know, especially that... Let me talk to these teenagers. Uh, the females, you might see a... You might see a uh, a guy with his fancy car, he said, come in, jump in, or, you know, one of your girlfriends might be talking to a guy. You don't want to go. You feel in your gut that you don't want to go in the, in the car, but you go anyway because you want to please your friend. You got to please yourself, honey. And you got to know the right thing to do. And if that little gut, that little gut, that little voice is talking to you, telling you, and you know you don't want to do it, I'm telling you to follow that voice. I'm talking to my young people now. I'm talking to my young people now. Good, 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 good. I hear the mom talking to her son. Yeah, she's uh giving them some good knowledge. <laughs> Guys, we all gotta do better. As the story unfold about this gentleman, I think his name is James. I got to say Mr. James, allegedly. Um, it's either going to be a relationship problem or something about his job. Mark my word. Guys, whatever stress you have, let your fingers do the walking and go find some counseling if you can't talk to your friends. Good morning. Have somebody to talk to. Talk out your problem. The Bible is a very, very big help. I'm telling you those words will talk to your soul. And uh, pray, meditate. The biggest thing is exercising, guys. Clear your mind by exercising. You don't need a friend to come out here and walk. Just walk and clear your mind. Think before you act. Because your quick decision could ruin the rest of your life. That gentleman yesterday on the train in New York and Brooklyn, that, uh, I don't know the numbers right now, but he threw, allegedly, some kind of cocktail on the train. On the train, could you imagine? And then um, started to shoot. So much people's lives, he changed. So much people, life, that he changed. You don't know 
what you're walking into sometime, and that's why you gotta follow your intuition. You gotta follow your intuition. And you're not too old to learn, guys. If you're an older person, you cannot be an older person to be like, I don't wanna listen to nobody. I don't care. It's my way or the highway. You always have to have an open mind. Good morning. I love that. Look at him. He's exercising. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Seniors, you got to play too. You don't got to stay in your rocking chair and die. Get out here. I don't care how silly you think people think you look. Just get out here and exercise. Play. People stop playing. They stop playing with their grandkids, with their kids. Why? Because you're working like crazy and everything is so serious. You don't even have time to laugh with your kids. Come on, guys. Too much stress in this world. It's going to work itself out because guess what? When you drop dead, the stress is still going to be there. I'm only, it's my second lap, going on my second lap and I feel great. Got to take the time out to take care of you. Ladies, go get your pedicure done, even in the winter, for you, not no man. You get it done for you. Men, it's okay for you to get pedicure too as well. Your, your, your toes look crusty. Nobody want to see your crusty toes. Take care of yourself, guys. You can't just be running about. You want to take care of this job. You're working, working, working like crazy. And you don't take time for yourself. You don't take a trip. You couldn't tell the last time you left your own neighborhood. You couldn't tell the last time you got on a bus and, and take it out of state. You couldn't tell the last time you went on a plane or even if you ever went on a plane. If you never ever been on a plane, I encourage you to go and book your ticket and take a plane ride. Release your fears. One of the things I did the other day that I'm really proud of myself about and when I go there again, I'm going to take a video of me doing it. It's very freeing. It's called zip line. I was scared to death to, to let go because it's a thing that you got to trust. You got to let go. And when I got on that zip line, after I jumped, I realized that that harness was going to hold me. And then it was no more fear. But when the fear of the unknown... You're so scared of the unknown, but you gotta let go, guys. Okay? Well, that is my video for this morning. You guys have an amazing day. I think I'm gonna do about two more laps. And then I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna do two more laps. And then I'm gonna get out of here because I cannot, I cannot go back to sleep. I'm a person like that. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Have a good day, guys. Thank you for your time. Like, comment, and share. What do you guys do for fun? How do you pump yourself up? If you're a senior, are you still playing? When last you took some exercise? If you don't have money to join the gym, you don't have to join the gym, especially with so much people breathing on each other now. Let's take a simple walk, guys. Walk. Walk it out, run it out, swim it out, talk it out. Especially couples, talk it out. You don't got to hate each other, just talk it out. It's okay to talk, guys. It's how you fix your problems. All right? It's called communication. All right, enjoy your day.